G5 governors in disarray as Makinde gives me a serious warning. Hello viewers and welcome to Info Gist TV. The Oyo State Governor Engineer C. Makinde has begged the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesumiki, not to set Oyo State on fire. He stated, Please do not put in my state or your governor, Makinde begs Miki. Meanwhile, the FCT minister, Miki, dares Governor Fubara. Nobody has monopoly of violence in River State, the FCT minister stated. Miki further bragged that all his political enemies put together could not fight him, maintaining that he is too big for that. The former governor of River State and minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Yesu Miki, has told his estranged political godson and current governor of River State, similar to Fubara, that his administration, Fubara's administration, does not have the monopoly of violence in the state. Miki further bragged that all his political enemies put together could not fight him, maintaining that he is too big for that. The minister spoke in Port Harcourt on Saturday during a reception organized in his honor by the River State Ijo People's Congress. Governors elected under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, had declared their support for the governor, Fubara of River State, with whom Wiki had in a political battle. Wiki, who was accompanied to the reception by the former governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, former governor of Abia, Okezek Bazo, and David Umahi, with host of other dignitaries, lampooned the PDP governors. He said, It is not true that the Ijo people are fighting me. A father may have 12 children, one can be an armed robber. These people that are going to television to attack me, where were they when we made an Ijo governor? Nobody's fighting me, I am too big for and far too big for anybody to fight. All these people put together cannot fight me. Let nobody threaten anybody, all those threats are empty. Soon we will know who is relevant. I said nobody will take over the structure of the party. You can have all the money if it didn't day, it didn't day, he added. I told them if you put your hand in River State matters, fire will burn you. Today, they are crying everywhere. Instead of them to concentrate on how to win elections in their states, they were busy having meetings in Enugu and Taraba State. Who is losing now? The former governor cautioned politicians outside the state to stay clear of River State politics, noting that River State is very special to him. According to him, they sent some boys to come and bomb this place with dynamite. They were arrested by the police. We are encouraging crime in River State. Nobody has the monopoly of violence. We cannot turn investors away from our state through violence, he stated. Recall that the political feud between the Federal Capital Territory Minister Yesu Miki and River State Governor Simila Ifubara has taken a fresh twist as the Ijo elders in the PDP apologized to Miki on behalf of Governor Fubara, who they called their son. They commended Miki for making it possible for an Ijam man to become the governor of River State. The People's Democratic Party Elders Forum has also apologized to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesu Miki, over the feud he has with Governor Similar Ifubara of River State. The elders, led by the Executive Director of Finance, NDDC, Buma Iaye, said they apologize for what Fubara is doing to you. Iaye said the job people were sorry for the bitter back and forth disregard Fubara has shown to Miki. The Joe elders present their apologies at the River State Ijo People's Congress on Saturday. They stated that on behalf of our people, we are apologizing to you for what our son is doing to you. We are sorry because it is not our nature to pay evil for good. You have done well for us and will continue to say thank you. Your Excellency, do not because of this bad behavior of our son run away from us. Continue to be our brother. Continue to have us in mind. We have never set our feet on the number of, on the number one seat of River State. You made it possible for us to become the governor of River State. It was also reported that Fintiri begs Miki and Fubara to end crisis. Earlier, the, it was reported that the governor of Adamawa State, Ahmad Fintiri, stormed River State to attend a key event in a video making the round online. Fintiri graced a grand reception organized in honor of Miki. In reaction to River's political crisis, Fintiri urged Miki and his successor governor. Fubara to end their rift in the interest of the state. Miki has vowed not to support River State Governor Simila Fubara in his political life again. Miki stated this during an appearance on Channel's television. He said, I would never support Fubara in my political life again. Anybody knows me. It is not about me. People labored to put up a structure. People labored. You would not have even taken the 50th position. I sacrificed to talk to the Ogonis. I sacrificed to talk to several other people who let us go this way. 
he turned it that I am asking for 50 billion naira, 100 billion naira. He turned up lies against me. I brought you up and put you here. Today, I turned out to be over demanding. What is Mike demanding? In every politics or political family, you run elections under people and people work together. We must have to keep our political structure. Mike also denies his rift with the governor was, was causing a setback for the development of River State. What is causing the setback? Mike asked. I'm not interfering with governance. I do not want to be there. I had no crisis with anybody in the country as a governor. I survived it. If you do not want to take leadership position, you do not want to. That's the tone about it. Now, these are the replies from Nicisms. Life Matters stated that we knew the same way you chose Tinibu in River State and I like the turnout of events. He does not want to follow your footsteps, though you really work though, but you can't impose your people on him. He should be allowed to lead with his style. Kenneth Chuku also commented, when God decides to lift a man, he can use anyone as an instrument. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Shaka Anthony also commented, now you're talking and telling us the truth about the election. Unadu were Nigerian politicians. Uche Ebere Hope also commented, Without Jonathan and patience, Jonathan, people like Dave Umai and Yeson Wiki would not have smelled seat of governor. We are instruments in the hands of the Almighty. Nobody should boast because we are not in control of the pumping mechanisms of our hearts. God can choose to stop it tonight, and that will be the end. Davidson Ubuna also commented, You were chosen the same way. Government of Godfatherism and gangsterism is a big problem in Nigeria. Shegun Isaac also commented, what this man is saying to me is a great insult to democracy. How can someone be bragging that he made another person governor? That is an insult to the people of that state. Inyeka Ebuta also commented, Patient Jonathan chose you as well when you shouldn't have won a local government election. No problems with choice making. Respect him as his excellency and that's all. Issa Tanjudin stated, You chose him based on personal interest, not the interest of the people. So allow the guy to run his government. Walter Franklin also commented, Mike has been arrogant arrogating himself as master and controller of politics but little did he know that a lot has left him john Akbabusi also commented imagining bragging publicly that he rigged election favor of, for someone in a sane society no one can come in the public and brag about rigging elections it can happen in a lawless society like nigeria basi basi also commented this is very disgraceful everybody has a bragging that push him or her to prominence right honorable evans pb Took him some wicked to Mrs. Patience Jonathan, and from there, the rest is history. Omotosho Olatun D also commented everything about any leader who does not have conscience, integrity, and fear of God is always controversial and shrouded in secrecy. Also, they can neither be trusted nor believed by the actions and words because they are deceptive and cunning in nature. On the other hand, the desire of every leader who has conscience, integrity, and fear of God is to prioritize the welfare of their people and nation above personal gain or selfish interest through transparency and trustworthiness. A compassionate leader with conscience, integrity, and fear of God is indeed essential for the well-being and prosperity of a nation. Such leadership and leaders recognize the inherent value and dignity of every human life and strive to serve with empathy, kindness, and justice. They understand that true leadership is not about exploiting power but about serving with humility and selflessness. Apparently, there is a stake contrast with the unfortunate reality of some leaders who prioritize their own interests at the expense of their people's sufferings and untimely death. However, this is a call for action, a call to action for leaders to reflect on their motive, motivations, motives and priorities and for citizens to demand more from leaders. Baba Dayabu also commented, same thing to you, you don't deserve to become a governor then. They are competent people more than you. Patience, Jonathan imposed you as sole candidate, so life is turn by turn. Allow Fubara loan, please.